how does defense spending fit into those priorities? Well, I, I think defense spending is very important. I think it has to be measured. I don't think that uh, we have to follow the history of, uh, of defense spending where contractors that were associated with, with Vice President Cheney uh, received all the benefits. I think that we have to have some controls. Uh, I think that we need to support our military. We can't abandon them. We need to provide them with all the resources so that they can be a strong military uh, component so that they, they can protect the interests of the United States. I think that uh, we need to have some controls in, on, on what we determine to be uh, spending. I think that some of the military spending needs to be spent in, with some of the companies in the 33rd Congressional District. I think that we have to deviate from uh, the dependency uh, and, and start telling other countries that they need to begin to protect their own interests, that we're not going to be there forever, um, that uh, we are eventually going to pull out of Afghanistan, we're gonna pull, we pulled out of Iraq, and that I think that uh, military spending has to be controlled. In terms of my priorities on the budget, we have been in a congressional district that has been historically Republican. Pete Sessions was the Republican congressman for what is now most of the 33rd congressional district. I think that we need to provide the resources uh, in our community that have been neglected. How do you feel the federal government should relate to the public education system and to higher education? Well, I, I disagree emphatically and uh, very firmly with the cuts, the state cuts on education. I don't think that we can afford to cut back on teachers. We cannot afford to cut back on education. We cannot make demands on teachers to teach our children when resources are being limited. If we begin to cut back on education, then we are impacting the future of our country. We cannot have children that are not learning. We cannot have children who cannot read and write. We cannot have children who are not competitive, who don't understand technology, that cannot compete for a job against an international market. I think we need to invest in education. We need to make that a priority, and we need to be uh, find all the necessary resources so that education can be the, the catalyst for a successful country. And I think that uh, uh, I am pro-teacher, I am pro-parental involvement, I am pro-funding, and I'm against the, the cuts by the Republican Party that has decimated our school system. The other priority is jobs. We need jobs. Uh, the 33rd Congressional D District has been neglected. We don't have vocational training programs. We don't have on-the-job training programs. Our summer jobs programs are very minimal. Uh, we don't have incentives to small businesses. We have Jefferson, uh, we have Jefferson Davis and South Irving and Fort Worth where businesses are not getting the resources that, have, uh, that they've been able to get. I think we need to spend more money to create jobs, grow business, and make our economy strong. What proposals will you present to improve the Affordable Care Act? Well, I, I think the Affordable Health Care Act, there has to be a component on education. We need to educate our community on wellness. Uh, we have to incorporate some of the local uh, medical institutions like the uh, hospital Southampton and some of the smaller hospitals to begin to service our community. I think that we have to educate our community from going to emergency rooms when they can go to outpatient clinics. Um, I firmly believe that all children should have the right to health care and uh, quality health care. I think that all African Americans, Hispanics, and others should have the same quality health care as a member of Congress or uh, someone who lives in North Dallas. I think that for us, um, the, there should be no elimination of the CHIPS program. Children should be able to have access to health care uh, without any restrictions. I categorically oppose any pre-existing conditions. Uh, I think that we need to penalize and be very aggressive with insurance companies that have taken advantage of our community, that have reaped millions and billions of dollars, and that have provided very little resources and very little benefits. I think we need to put pressure on some of these hospitals to reduce their costs so that poor, poor um, residents of our community can have access to their health care. Those are the things that I'm going to fight for. I'm going to fight to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to get a job, to have good health care, and to have a voice in Washington. And that is Carlos Quintanilla. My top priority is to be very specific and provide direct benefits to the residents of the 33rd Congressional District. I'm not going to go to Washington, D.C. I will be a Democrat. I will be a Barack Obama Democrat. 
but I will work for the residents of the 33rd Congressional District. I will push for the creation of a vocational training program uh, to address the gap when children graduate from high school and they don't go to college. What happens to those individuals? I want to get them into programs so that they then can compete for the jobs that Mr. Salazar talks about. The, econo uh, the uh, green technology, the, technolo the uh, oil uh, related industry, medical industry, I'm going to focus my energy to bring a, a vocational training program to our community. I'm going to push for on-the-job training programs that will provide direct benefits and incentives to small businesses so that they can train individuals from our community, save some money, uh, grow their businesses, and create the stability that's needed among small businesses. I'm going to create a Hard 33 program within our congressional office, we're going to have an actual job placement, job development program where individuals can come into our congressional office and I'm going to go to Lockheed and all these major corporations, I'm going to say, you know what, you need to hire people from our community. You need to provide them employment opportunities and that is where my priority is going to be. Services to our community and resources and benefits to the residents of the 33rd Congressional District. I'm going to be an activist congressman and I want to work very hard for you. Thank you very much.